on everybody it's your digital technology librarian Christy here and once again I am here with a film rec Friday for you um, these recommendations as always come from one of our three video services so all you need is a library card and you'll be able to check out from Clevenet Overdrive Hoopla Digital or Canopy service uh, this week we are going to focus in on one of my favorite topics, music and musicals. So all of these recommendations will be either documentaries about music, the music industry, or actual mu musical movies. So if you like any either of those topics, please do check them out. Uh, so without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. These first two recommendations from come from Clevenet Overdrive. Um, if you were a child of the 80s and the 90s, you probably know groups like Nirvana. And I am still a huge fan of Dave Grawl, of course, with Foo Fighters now. Um, a few years ago, he made his directorial debut with a documentary called Sound City. Now, Sound City uh, sort of tracks the history of the Sound City Studios. It's a fairly small recording studio. Uh, it's nothing like super famous like Sun Records or anything like that, but they did just happen to host a huge group of really important artists and uh, those artists were like Nirvana, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Rage Against the Machine, uh, Neil Young, Fleetwood Mac, uh, and all of those artists uh, recorded really influential uh, important albums there. Uh, the studio existed from 1969 all the way until 2011, and it was in particular famous for, I think, like a drum kit set that they had uh, that Dave Grawl, who, of course, is a hugely famous drummer, eventually purchased and is now made into part of his own personal studio. Anyway, all of these things get talked about and, and chronicled in this documentary, and it's really interesting because, to be honest, I didn't really know too much about the studio at all. Um, even though I'm a huge fan of a lot of the artists that had recorded there, I didn't really know anything about, you know, the back end of that, of that recording process there. So it is really, really interesting. And so if you like stories about the music industry, or if you're a fan of any of those groups that I mentioned, please do check out Sound City, uh, again, available on Clevenet Overdrive. Really, really interesting documentary. Um, the other recommendation I have from Clevenet Overdrive is... Uh, uh, an older classic musical from, say, like the golden era of the MGM studio. It's called Till the Clouds Roll By, and it's a fictionalized biopic of Jerome Kern, who's a really, really famous American uh, music theater composer. Uh, he did the music for, say, like Showboat uh, and, and other musicals from that time period. And it's sort of the, when you look at the cast list, it's a huge who's who of that sort of golden studio era uh, performance. Uh, say like you had Frank Sinatra, Angela Lansbury, uh, Dinah Shore, uh, and they're singing these songs like that you, you absolutely will know, including a really beautiful rendition of Look for the Silver Lining by Judy Garland, of course, hugely, hugely, hugely famous at that time period. Uh, and, and you have so many different songs that were performed by uh, massive stars. So it's, it's really, really kind of uh, a fun way to see all of these different performance styles all squished into one movie. So if you're looking for something um, really classic and memorable, strongly recommend Till the Clouds Roll By. Um, totally family friendly, uh, great, great, fantastic music uh, and highly recommended. Okay. For our second set of recommendations, all of these come from Ho Hoopla Digital, and these three recs are all movie musicals. So if you're not a documentary fan, maybe one of these will work out for you. Um, while they're all musicals, they all have very different tones to them, very different styles of music. So strongly recommend that you check them out. The first one is actually Hair. Uh, now Hair is the Milos Forman film adaptation of the rather infamous uh, musical production. Uh, it's an anti-war film that takes place in the Vietnam War era, uh, so the late 60s we're dealing with, and it's uh, sort of the focuses in on the interactions between these two very different personalities. Um, two young men, one is part of hippie counterculture and the other one is, you know, uh, 
from like salt of the earth he's shipping off to war and it's just the sudden interactions of these two they've never met before but they suddenly find themselves um, interacting all the time uh, and you've got these very disparate personalities the storyline really makes how they interact with one another fascinating and of course you've got this backdrop of crazy good rock musical music um, with ludicrously famous songs like Aquarius, um, Good Morning Starshine, and of course title song Hair in there. Um, so not only do you have a great soundtrack, but you have this really compelling story of these different personalities. Um, and those two main guys are played by Treat Williams and John Savage, who are excellent actors. You've got Beverly D'Angelo in there as well. Uh, and, and everyone is a solid singer, but an even better performer. So it's just a really good movie to watch if you're looking for something that really has a strong point of view about war uh, in, for, in the first place. Um, but yeah, definitely recommended. Check out Hair, available on Hoopla. Second movie, definitely less of a message film. Uh, it's called The Commitments. Now, The Commitments uh, takes place in this sort of gritty, very blue collar Irish community um, where this one young man wants to form this R&B soul cover group. Uh, but everyone who shows up to all of his auditions doesn't really know anything about R&B or soul. Like the, that's just not a music that they listen to or care about. Uh, so it's sort of this process of creating a group and, and finding a way to make the music resonate. Uh, you can imagine with that being the style of music they want to sing, uh, soundtrack is awesome. You've got songs like playing and performances of like Mustang Sally, Chain of Fools, uh, Take Me to the River, and the performances are fantastic. Uh, they really got a really, really strong cast put together. Um, it's funny. It's dramatic. It's an unexpected film like it's just very very unexpected everything about it I'd not I'd not been familiar with it until I was looking for titles for this week and I I enjoyed it I, I enjoyed it a lot it's probably the, my favorite movie that I, I watched for this um, so if you are looking for something kind of funny and fun uh, definitely recommend the commitments um, and finally, my last Tupla recommendation is Across the Universe. I am a huge Julie Taymor fan. She directed the Broadway stage production of Lion King. Um, she did a really cool uh, adaptation of Shakespeare's Titus. She has such a strong visual point of view. You can almost always tell a Julie Taymor movie uh, because of like certain color palettes she uses and the way that she works with shadow and light. So if nothing else, if you like a beautifully visually impactful film, definitely check out Across the Universe. Besides it just being a gorgeous looking movie, um, Across the Universe is a musical romance, again, taking place kind of in that Vietnam era world, but with the backdrop of Beatles music. Um, everybody loves the Beatles. And you've got Beatles music with performances from people who aren't necessarily known for being singers, but who can definitely sing, um, but who are known for being really, really strong actors. So you've got like Evan Rachel Wood, you've got Jim Sturgis, uh, and their performances of these songs we're familiar with, say like, I Want to Hold Your Hand, or Yesterday, or Hey Jude. Um, they take on a whole different feel when you're not listening to to, to the Beatles sing them. And uh, it works so well with the way that the film is put together and the way that it looks. And it's, I just, I can't say enough good things about Across the Universe. Uh, so if you're looking for something visually impactful with a great soundtrack and really solid performances, I can't recommend Across the Universe more. So definitely check Across the Universe out. My last two recommendations come from our Canopy service. Now, Canopy in general has some amazing um, musicals and uh, documentaries about music. So if these two titles don't strike your fancy, uh, you should definitely still check out the service. It has 
amazing films on it. Uh, so definitely check out Canopy regardless. Uh, so the first one is called Beyond the Lights. Now I had not been at all familiar with this movie before checking these out for this week, uh, but this one is really, really excellent. Um, it follows this young woman who is really on the cusp of superstardom. Um, she's been working towards uh, pop success her entire life. Um, she's got, she suddenly has a billboard award. Um, she's getting really, really successful, but she's just sort of crumbling under the sudden pressure. Um, well, not really sudden, like she's been pressured by her mother, by so many others, all her existence, and things are really just coming to a head. And she meets this young man and um, two totally different industries. She, of course, is a pop singer and he's a police officer. Uh, but they manage to find common ground and commonality. And it follows their relationship when two people, when, when everybody around them is telling them, you really should be focusing on your career. It's irresponsible to um, be shying away from those things. Uh, they really find a way to lift one another up and music is great but the storyline itself is just really really beautiful and it's very powerful so um if you're looking for a romance that's really meaningful and beautiful definitely check out beyond the lights um you'll get all of that in the story plus some phenomenal music and really great performances as well um, and my very last recommendation for this week is another documentary, but it's such a fun one. It's called Mighty Uke, uh, and it's all about the ukulele. I am a huge ukulele person. I love the ukulele. I play it. I listen to it. I have CDs about it. Um, and this one's great for people like me who are huge fans already of the instrument, but it's also really cool for people who are just sort of curious about it. It is an odd looking and sounding instrument, like it's baby guitar what's so special about it. Uh, but the documentary really goes into the history of the instrument itself, but also what makes it really cool and what makes it popular. It's a fairly simple instrument to learn. So uh, it talks about teaching all of these community groups, um, how to bond together through music. Uh, it's, it's like a lighthearted, warm and fuzzy documentary about an ukulele. Uh, so if you're at all curious about music and sort of that pop culture vibe that certain sort of instruments can get around them, I strongly recommend checking out Mighty Uke. It's just, it's, it's a sweet documentary. Uh, so please do check it out. Um, so that's it for this week as far as my recs go. If you're watching something and you think other people should be watching it, please comment down below, uh, let people know about it. Uh, we're always looking for recommendations ourselves. I'm always looking for things to watch and read and listen to. Um, and as always, we miss you and hopefully we will see you soon. Have a great weekend and I hope you find something fun to watch. See ya!